Hello everyone, welcome to Pantech eLearning. Today, let's see how to install and import machine learning libraries. The first two libraries we have here is Pandas and NumPy. So the first step in machine learning is to import the dataset and it is done with the help of Pandas. Pandas is a library which is used for various data handling operations. And it is installed with the help of pip install pandas. And here the command pip is nothing but python package installer which is used for installing packages in python. The next library we have here is numpy which is used for various mathematical scientific operations and creating arrays and it has many number of applications in machine learning which is a, a great tool to do machine learning operations very fastly. It is installed via pip install numpy. Next library we have here is scikit-learn. So scikit-learn is a very very important library for machine learning. It has everything from pre-processing tools, train test split module, all the machine learning models, algorithms and then finally to compare the models we have accuracy score calculation, confusion matrix with the help of metrics from scikit-learn. So this scikit-learn library is installed via pip install scikit-learn. Then we have tensorflow here. TensorFlow is used for deep learning applications. So it has Keras and with the help of Keras we can import deep learning models. This is installed via pip install center TensorFlow. Then we have here is OpenCV. So in case in deep learning or in deep learning problems if we have image data sets these image or videos can be read with the help of OpenCV only. So this OpenCV also has pre-processing tools for the images. So after the images are pre-processed then we will give this to the deep learning models for further predictions. So this OpenCV is very important in case of deep learning or image processing and it is installed via pip install OpenCV Python. Then we have the visualization libraries which is nothing but Seaborn and Matplotlib. This is used for visualization of the output or the data we have and it is installed via pip install Seaborn and pip install Matplotlib. So let's see how to install this. I am going to open my Anaconda Navigator. And in the Anaconda Navigator, this is the home page. I am going to go inside the environments and I am going to click the base root here and I am going to open the terminal. We put it in full screen. Yeah, now I am going to type first I am going to install pandas. Pip install pandas. So if you don't have pandas it will install, if you already have it will give the result as requirement already satisfied. So now I am going to type pip install numpy. Okay the requirement is already satisfied for me. So if you don't have it will download automatically. So now next time let me install pip install scikit learn. Yeah requirement already satisfied. Let's install TensorFlow. Pip install TensorFlow. Yeah, the requirements are already satisfied here. TensorFlow is a huge library. Now let's install OpenCV. It is installed by pip install OpenCV Python. Then pip install matplotlib. And finally, let's install pip install seaborn okay now we have successfully installed and verified that we already satisfied the requirement and uh, now let's import these libraries so i'm going to go to the home and i'm going to launch my jupyter notebook so these libraries are used many times uh, in the code so when we write bunch of code if we use some short terms for calling this library, it will be very helpful. So when we type it for a long time, it saves a lot of time. So what we will do is, I am going to type import pandas as pd. So every time I don't want to write pandas fully, so I can simply write pd, so it will call pandas. Then I am going to import numpy as np. So you can give any name you want but these are the standard names, short terms and uh, next import sklearn. So sklearn is nothing but scikit-learn. 
so it has various things like you can click and see so it has various it has data sets it has base calibration clusters ensemble feature selection feature extraction and so on it contains various models lot and lot of things sklearn then we can import tensorflow as tf let's import open cv and open cv is installed via imported via import cv2 cv2 is nothing but open cv and we can call it as cv next we can import cborn as sns in short form and then let's import matplotlib i'm going to run this it is running and it ran properly since we installed this library it ran properly without showing any error so that's it for today i hope you guys have learned how to install and import the important libraries of machine learning and that's it for today thank you